Using Excel to create a box plot. You can use Excel to create a box plot, otherwise known as a box and whiskers plot. This is very easy to do using the charting tool, as I'll show you. You don't need to calculate the quartile separately. The charting tool will do that for you. In a previous video, I used Excel's quartile function to calculate the quartiles, so I'll leave them here for you to see and compare the numbers, but that isn't necessary to get the box plot. To create a box plot, first select the array. I want to use student grades, so I will select column B. The easiest way to do that is to click in the first cell at the top of the column, B1, and then press and hold Control and Shift together, and then press the down key. Once the column of grades is selected, then go to the Insert tab and click. In the middle of the ribbon menu, where you see the different chart choices, to the right of the line graph, you see a histogram. Hover over it, and you will see it says Insert Statistic Chart. Click, and then click on the box and whiskers choice. Now we need to put numbers in the box plot, so let's move our cursor to the big plus sign here at the top right of our chart. If you don't see it, you need to click on the chart to make it active. This plus sign is where chart element features are located. Let's click on it. We see the choice for data labels. Click, and you can see the numbers are the same as those that I got when I used the quartile.exe function. Here on the right side of the box, you can see Q1 is 70.5, Q2 is 77.5, and Q3 is 87.25. This number in the middle of the box is the mean or average of the grades, 78.96 and the whiskers go out to the min and the max, 55 and 99. What if we want the numbers from quartiles.inc inclusive of 0 and 1? To change the quartiles to inclusive from exclusive, right-click on the blue box and then choose Format Data Series. Here you can make some changes. Let's click on Inclusive instead of Exclusive under quartile calculation and you can see now that Q1 is 71.25, the median stays the same, and Q2 is now 87, just like the numbers we got using the quartile.inc function. So in about 30 seconds you can have Excel create a box and whiskers plot or box plot and at the same time get the five number summary, the min and the max, and quartiles 1, 2, and 3. It's that easy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something.